Here's a video that shows how documents can be e-signed. So we're here and I'm going to go to the documents tab. We'll just show you the definition of a document. We have a code of conduct form that folks just have to read and sign. Let's take a look at how that's defined in iCrew. So it's the code of conduct, uh, no expiration date, and we have it set for athlete signature required. If your parents of juniors are in the system too and they have to sign, you can check that box. And then the key here, make sure you check only signature required. So let's take a look at this PDF and you'll see why an only a signature is required. Basically, the athlete just has to read the code of conduct and agree to it and then sign it. So we'll show you how that will be e-signed. So let's go back into iCrew. So that's the document setup. You'll see that the teams that it applies to are all checked here. Now let's take a look at how this document can be signed by an athlete. All right, here I am signed on now into iCrew as an athlete. And the code of conduct form needs to be signed. So going to my documents, there's the code of conduct and a little button to sign it. The document is presented here in iCrew for the person to read. And then it says here, provide your e-signature and you're agreeing to comply by the terms. So this is Ann, so we'll just type Ann's name click sign and now that document is considered on file that now that Anne has signed it